Hi, Marla Brodsky, Camler Fan Pages. So, today on A Piece of Marla's Mind, I would like to talk about talking to people. Now, for those of you that know me, you know that one of my favorite things to do is talk. I love talking to people. But I am also a very good listener. And again, for those of you that know me, you know this because you are constantly calling me and telling me your problems and I'm listening to them. And by the way, happy to listen and happy to help. Back to the subject at hand. What I really find weird is when I'm talking to people, especially let's go to the ones who don't even like really know me that well, like I could be in a shopping mall or really anywhere asking a question or whatever, and literally I'm looking at them here, talking to them, asking them a question, yet they're looking at me like this. And they're talking that way, like just staring, talking to nobody into space. And I'm like, um, woohoo, woohoo, over here, over here. And I'm like, if you're trying to have a conversation with me, or especially if you're trying to sell me a product, why are you not looking at me? It's like so weird. Do you ever see this happening on TV too? Like you'll see people getting interviewed and instead of talking to the interviewer, they're just kind of like staring into space, talking as if the person's like right here. And you're like, what is wrong with these people? Why are they not looking at me in the eye? And by the way, it's not like they have something wrong with their eye or God forbid there's like some problem like because that would just be insensitive. I am talking about the people that have full well capabilities of talking to me and looking me in the eye when you're speaking. So for everybody out there that for some reason finds it weird to make eye contact, let me tell you something. It's weird not to make eye contact. So please, when you're talking to me or talking to other people, Give a little eye contact. Let us know you're engaged. Don't be looking off into like the space of some Martian that doesn't even exist. Or maybe it does. But either way, talk to me. And that was a piece of Marla's mind.